Hello everyone. Welcome. So today the topic uh, we discuss is the regular expressions. So what are these regular expressions and uh, why we need these regular expressions um, in the automation. Regular expressions are basically useful to handle the dynamic objects. Something the objects that changes at runtime, so you can handle that kind of objects through regular expressions. So regular expressions are enables to quick test to identify objects and test strings with varying values. So you can use regular expressions um, by defining the property values of an object, something like the window title that is changing dynamically. You can handle that through regular expressions or you can also parameterize a step. Something the link name is changing or the link contains a number in it that changes dynamically. You can also create the checkpoints. Sometimes in the web applications you will get a message that says account so and so is created successfully. That account number basically like you want to verify that message but that account number contains a number that changes. That message contains basically the account number that changes dynamically, right? Whatever the account that is created. So whatever the scenario, wherever you see this kind of runtime objects or the objects that changes dynamically, you can handle through regular expressions. So basically when you do the regular expressions, you're going to use the special characters like asterisk or caret or the brackets or the period or the percentage, dollar symbols. These are the special characters that you're going to use when you do the regular expressions. So we're going to do the exercise um, how you can, what are the these uh, runtime objects, then how you can handle that through regular expressions. Okay, so now I'm going to show you in this script. So let's uh, quickly record a script on this flight application that contains create order and also the fax order. So this is the application executable file and click OK. So let's uh, record. Okay, so I'm going to create an order. Okay, so enter the customer name and insert order. So once you insert order, then you can also fax order. So let's select say file fax order. 
Now we are going to enter the fax number. Before that, you might have noticed here these two windows. The difference is this flight resolution window, it is a static thing, right? It never changes the window title, but whereas this one is a dynamic thing. Depends on which order you are trying to send, this window title keep changes. So this is the dynamic object. Say, so let's see what happens. You are, I'm trying to enter some fax number here and then click on this send button. So now it's trying to send the fax. And close your application and just stop recording. So this is how you recorded your script. Um, anyway, I'm going to handle again in a root way. Just I want to insert a couple of wait statements, particularly after, uh, after click OK button and after click insert order button. So I want to put some wait statements here. Say wait for 10 seconds. And also, that's what as I mentioned before, so this is a rude way, but there is a smart way how you can do that using the synchronization. Please watch my synchronization video for that. So here even after this click on send button, just I want to put some wait time. Okay, so now let's try to run the script. Run the script as it is and then see what happens. Okay, so now it's start executing. Just is trying to log in into the application. Okay, so it creates an order now. Okay, so this is where the script is thinking a lot because you see what the fax order number it is? Now it is 337 because when you run the script, the QTP generates a new order and then your script get into this problem. You cannot find the fax number object's parent fax order number 336 because when at the time of recording your script, the fax order number is 336 and now it is 337. That's where your script uh, couldn't find that particular window because your script is looking for 336 window but whereas the application is creating 337. So this is the problem where you have to handle through regular expressions because this number keep changes dynamically on the window title. So let's stop execution then look at how you can handle through regular expressions. 
So all you have to do is um, here, you're going to open object repository. Okay, select resources and object repository. And now you're going to look at here where that object is changing dynamically, right? In the object repository. So you're going to look at which object is changing dynamically. The facts are the number 336. Don't change anything, any object or anything. All you have to change is the property of an object. So come here and then say this value, the text property, the value. So click on this button and now you're going to do the regular expression. So check this checkbox, regular expression. So you will get a confirmation. Do you want to put any backslash? Say no. And then now we are going to do the regular expression by replacing this number with star. So after that, don't leave any space. You simply put star. What it means is, now it's going to handle star stand for everything, any order, right? So it's going to, re it's going to handle any kind of orders irrespective of what you get in the title. So click OK, close this object repository and run your script again. Okay, so let's close the application and then run the script again. Okay, so now it's trying to log in part again. And then it creates the order and then it sends that it packs that order. Okay, so let's watch and then see what kind of issues you'll get. If the regular expression works, then you don't get any issues. Okay, so it logs in. Now it creates that order. Okay, so the order is created. Now it's trying to fax the order. So it sends. Though the, the fax order number, the title it says 338, but still your script works. So that's how actually, wherever just you see, the window title changes, you can handle the regular expressions or there are some other candidates like where you can go for this regular expressions or maybe the inbox link, right? Where the number of emails keep changes. So there's the other, there's the other prob probability like where you can go with or some of, some of the windows that says the account numbers. Wherever it is, like when the object changes dynamically, you can go with the regular expressions. All you're going to use is the special characters. Thank you. Thanks once again for watching my videos. Thanks for your time. Have a good day. See you soon.